Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I wanted to sit down and talk about the new sunscreens from Bubble. Both of these sunscreens are extremely affordable and they are mineral options. And I have been using these products for a couple of weeks. These sunscreens include the Plus One and the Solar Mate. Both products are mineral and they do retail for $19. One of them is tinted and one of them is untinted. I actually feel like that this was a great decision to release both a tinted and a non-tinted version because I feel like more people with pale skin will tolerate the untinted version better, but people with darker skin may tolerate the tinted versions better. And so why not release both? I really like that concept. Both of these are mineral SPF 40s, which made me a little bit worried, but honestly, Honestly, with my experience with these, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting, which sounds awful, but usually anytime a mineral sunscreen is above SPF 30, it can be just a little bit greasy or really heavy on the skin. I didn't experience that with either of these products, and so that is why I'm beyond impressed with them. I'm going to go ahead and talk about my experience with each individual one. To start off, both of these sunscreens were more of a matte finish. I personally don't gravitate towards matte finish and I did find them to be just a little bit drying in my dry areas, but it wasn't anything too crazy. I do feel like oily skin would really enjoy this product though. I found that no matter what moisturizer I applied underneath both of these products, it was still mattifying. And so just be aware of that before purchasing these. My favorite was actually the untinted one, but I think it's because I am able to tolerate untinted sunscreens. I am going to go ahead and talk about the plus one though, which is the tinted version. This product I found to be just a little bit warm, but it wasn't anything too crazy. I do feel like the undertone was more neutral. It wasn't too warm, but it definitely had just a little bit of an orange tint to it. I do feel like this product would be most tolerated by medium skin tones. I would be curious to see both of these products on different skin tones. It is a fairly new product, so I haven't seen any reviews yet. This product was extremely extremely lightweight. It delivered a nice matte finish to the skin. So if you are more oily and you're wanting a tinted version of a mineral sunscreen that feels extremely lightweight that will help your oil production, I feel like this sunscreen is a great option. And I mean, $19. That is so good for an SPF 40. Both of these sunscreens contain zinc oxide, which is my favorite mineral filter. And this product I felt like was a great option. Like I said, it wasn't anything too orange or warm for my undertone. I just for some reason did gravitate towards the untinted version over this one. But if I'm being honest, neither of these sunscreens were really my preference because I do like a more hydrating finish, but it doesn't mean that this isn't a great product. I can see this being great for my T-zone whenever it is more warm outside, especially during the summer, I get very oily. And so that is why I feel like these products exist. Now I want to talk about the Solar Mate, which is the untinted version. This product claims to be invisible, which I found to be fairly true for my skin tone at least. This product did blend in very quickly and I was almost surprised by how lightweight this product was. Usually untinted mineral sunscreens I am not the biggest fan of because no matter what I feel like I always see it on my skin and usually they're not tolerated by different skin tones. So that's the only reason I would recommend the plus one over this one. If you are not able to tolerate all white sunscreens. I personally love the simplicity of this product. I found that this product was a great finish. It was a matte finish, but I feel like it was actually closer to a neutral sunscreen, which is why I really gravitated towards it. It was super lightweight on me. It didn't really leave much of a cast. It was very lightweight and it absorbed very quickly. I didn't experience acne with either of these products, and I felt like both of them were great options if you are looking for a more matte, lightweight mineral sunscreen. The big thing that I noticed with both of these products is they were extremely lightweight. They did not feel like a mineral sunscreen whatsoever, which is a dream because mineral sunscreens can feel just a little bit heavy on the skin at times. And so it is good that they made two affordable sunscreens that were extremely lightweight on the skin. And I do feel like they actually took into account different skin tones by releasing a tinted and an untinted version of both of these sunscreens. I feel like that this was a 
great campaign from Bubble. I was really impressed by the fact that they did release two sunscreens that were some of the most affordable SPF 40s that I've ever seen. These products had a great lightweight feel to them and even though I'm not the biggest fan of matte sunscreens, I did love how lightweight these products were and I feel like that in the summertime they will be perfect, especially if you're planning on spending some time outside. It will kind of help your oil production and oil control. I did feel like in my T-zone it was perfect, so oily skin, I feel like you are going to love both of these products and I'm just beyond impressed with both of them. Like I said, even though I don't like matte sunscreens, these were two very good options and if you do love matte sunscreens, I feel like they would be perfect for you. I would 100% recommend trying both of these. I hope that they do come to Walmart and Ulta and all of their retailers soon because this product needs to be very easily accessible. I feel like that a lot of people are going to love it. I understand why they released this sunscreen now because it is summer and it's the perfect time for a more matte sunscreen. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.